Hi, in today's video you will see some amazing ruins and waterfalls that most people skip when visiting Mexico. So, from San Cristobal we took the road to Ocosingo. This road is notorious for the amount of DIY speed bumps, also called topes. Close to this town, you can go to an archaeological site called Tornina. The ruins can be seen from our Airbnb and the host tells us that probably the whole mountain is built by Mayans, making it the tallest Maya building known today. There's not enough money though from the government to unearth all the Maya ruins in this country, so who knows, maybe it's true, maybe it's not. We are on the road to Palenque, the most visited place shown in this video. But from here you can go to, in my opinion, the best places in Mexico. Number 1. Yaxilan. You can only get here by boat, as there are no roads this deep into the jungle. Yaxilan was an important city during the classic era of the Mayans, from 250 till about 900. It was a big rival to Tikal in Guatemala and close friends with Calakmo, the latter one we will visit later in this video. The special thing about Yaxilan are the murals that are still intact in one of the buildings. When you're overlanding you will have a lot of flat tires. This is only our second on this car though.
rather well-known temple in Mexico is Palenque. It's still not really a busy place though, since it's quite far off from all the other main tourist cities and attractions. One important aspect of Mayan culture used to be the ball court. The game was played with a 3 kg solid rubber ball. The ball had to be bounced with your hip through a loop. Two players would stand on either side of the loop and play until the first player bumped it through the loop. Elites would play against each other and the winner of the game would be sacrificed and go to the underworld, the ultimate goal in life. Sometimes kings would play against each other and the winner would get the other kings his empire. The loser would go to the underworld. No ambulance was called so I guess nothing serious. This is where we're headed. Cascadas Felipe Ha. Mosilha waterfalls. Keep in mind that these waterfalls are less violent in the dry season. And last but not least, Kalakmul. With a minimum of three hours driving from the nearest place to stay, this place must be the most remote temple in Mexico that you can visit. There's quite a chance you will have these ruins to yourself if you go early, which makes climbing to the top even more special. These are not all ruins we visited, but some of the ones we loved. You can see more of them in other videos posted on our channel. Thanks for watching, see you!